Hi everyone, Blue Kibo here. Today I'm going to show you guys how to upgrade or refresh your Windows 10 installation without removing any of your files or software or Windows apps. So again, if you generally go under your settings here and then you go under update and security and then you go on recovery and you say get started, this will remove your apps. It will keep your Windows apps, but it will remove all the software that you've installed yourself in the PC. So the way I'm going to show you guys today is to refresh your Windows installation without removing anything. So we're actually upgrading it, but we're upgrading it to the same version that it's already at. So that's not going to be um, any, any difference. All right, so let's continue. So we have a test file right here uh, in the desktop to make sure that after what we do, it's still there. I've just put a couple test files around. So I've also put one in the documents folder, test file right here. And we're going to make sure that they're still there after what uh, we do, what the, the process that we do. And I also have CCleaner installed here. This is also something I installed after the installation to make sure that it's still there afterwards. And Google Chrome. All right, so we're going to go. I have the link on the description. We're going to go to the Microsoft website and we're, we're going to go uh, to this tool right here, download tool now. This is going to be a tool that helps you install Windows 10. You already have Windows 10 installed. But that's the way to upgrade it and, and fix any issues with the drivers and so forth without removing any of your programs or files. So let's go over here and say download tool now. All right, and then let's open the tool up. Okay, we're going to say yes to that. All right, this will take a few uh, seconds, maybe up to a minute, and then uh, I'll get back to you when, it, when it's finished. All right, it's finished. It says, uh, do you want to accept this license? Yes, we accept it. All right, right here, this is the important step. It says, upgrade this PC now. So this might not make sense, right? We already are running Windows 10, and we're upgrading it to Windows 10. So that's the key here. That's going to update all the drivers and upgrade, replace all the drivers so that it fixes any problems you have with your Windows installation without removing your apps, your programs, or your files. So we're going to say upgrade this PC now. Next. All right, this progress is going to take a while, so I'll get back to you guys when it's finished. All right, guys, so the progress has finished. It downloaded everything. It made the uh, media ready, and now it's ready to install. So we're going to say accept right here, and it says choose what to keep. Um, of course, we're going to just keep everything. I think it automatically uh, goes with that. And then it's uh, checking for updates now, and um, it shouldn't find any, I suppose, because I've updated everything, but let's see. All right, guys, it's almost done. It says ready to install, installing Windows 10 Home, keeping personal files and apps. So we're good to go. Let's click install, and I'll get back to you once this is over. All right, guys, the install is finished, so let's log into our Windows installation. So this uh, install took about 30 minutes or so, so uh, just, uh, you know, bear with it while it's finishing. So it says we've updated your PC, and we're going to check now to see if our files are still there, if our apps are still there, so software that we installed, so in that case, CCleaner and Google Chrome, and um, if everything works as it should. As we can see here, everything is ready to go. Um, we immediately see that the test file is already on the desktop, so that's good. Uh, let's see if CCleaner opens up. Okay. So again, I'm running uh, this in a virtual machine in VirtualBox since I'm recording from my actual Windows installation, but I've done this on my own installation too, and it's been fine. So CCleaner works. Google Chrome is right here. Let's check the documents folder just for fun 
to see if the test file is there. And yes, it is. So everything is good as it was before. And the Windows has been updated, upgraded, and refreshed. And you can see over here, um, it's just as new, right? So you can go ahead and, uh, you know, do the updates and so forth. So uh, that was it for this video. So I showed you guys how to refresh your Windows installation while keeping all your documents, your files, and your apps and Windows um, uh, programs still installed in your machine. So it's just installed the new drivers, updated and refreshed all the drivers and all the uh, Windows uh, files in the background. So um, that's it for this video. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.